हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी वट इज प्रोसेस पाइपिंग स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड वट इज दिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस डॉक्यूमेंट ओके सो दिस डॉक्यूमेंट दिस इज द प्राइमरी डॉक्यूमेंट ऑफ द प्रोसेस टीम और द प्रोसेस डिपार्टमेंट ओके एंड फ्रॉम द प्रोसेस डिपार्टमेंट दिस डॉक्यूमेंट इज सेंट टू और प्रोवाइडेड टू द पाइपिंग डिपार्टमेंट राइट एंड आफ्टर डेट द पाइपिंग डिपार्टमेंट प्रिपेयर ए पी एम एस डेट इज पाइपिंग मटेरियल स्पेसिफिकेशन राइट ओके सो वट इंफॉर्मेशन यू विल गेट फ्रॉम द प्रोसेस पाइपिंग स्पेसिफिकेशन सो सिंपली इन योर प्लांट देयर विल बी सो मैनी लाइन ओके एंड इन डेट लाइन देयर विल बी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द सर्विस फ्लूड राइट सो इन विच फ्लूड or in which service fluid which type of the moc you are going to use that information will be provided in the process piping specification right and this will be provided by the process team and after that the pms that is the detailed document that's why it is called as the process material specification sorry piping material specification right so in process piping specification if we take one example let's suppose you are using a cooling water the cooling water supply in cooling water supply line you are using carbon steel moc okay means the if this is your pipeline of the cooling water supply so the moc of this pipeline is cs right and the piping class or piping code is asme sa106 or astm a 106 okay this class means this class doesn't mean like 150 and 300 okay this class means simply this is telling you about the code right and after that see here you are using this carbon steel in cooling water supply line right and what will be the design temperature of this line so the design temperature of this line will be 60 degrees celsius right mainly you will see the uh, the operating temperature of the cooling water is around 30 to 40 or 38 right so that's why the design temperature will be 60 sometimes you will see that in instead of design temperature we provide the maximum working operating temperature okay or maximum operating temperature same here the design pressure is 6 bar okay because usually you will see that in cooling water line the pressure is operating pressure is 3.5 bar right and here is design pressure is 6 bar so you will see that the maximum working pressure will be here right instead of design pressure that could be also after that we provide the rating this rating is very very important because this rating tells us about the design pressure and design temperature mainly this rating gives us the information about the pressure and temperature profile as well as this rating ensures piping safety the piping system safety okay like for example let's suppose if you are using the cooling water right and you are keeping that cooling water at 150 rating it means that this rating 150 should ensure about the design temperature design pressure or your operating temperature as well as operating pressure are you getting my point if you will keep this rating at one like 3, 300 then what will happen simply your pressure rating and pressure and temperature rating will be increased thickness will be increase of the pipeline if the thickness will be increased simply your cost will be increased so that is not process point of view with respect to project it is not advisable right so what we have to do we have to consider each point at the optimum point okay so that your cost shouldn't be effect and it shouldn't be under value it shouldn't be over value it should be within the optimum range after that in process piping specification we provide the information about the end connection what will be the end connection mainly you will see the end connection is flange end type okay in some cases there could be another end connection as well but mainly you will see there will be the end connection will be flange type if there is any special requirement in that line for example in the hydrogen line 
in the hydrogen gas line sometimes we we give the special requirement for of the testing right so that special requirement you could be right here okay there could be another column as well okay please let me in the comments box if there should be any other column yes or no right and in the last you could provide here the remarks in that remark for example what i have written here simply this is your cooling water supply line and in my case let's assume that this cooling water is coming from the client side okay this cooling water is coming from the client side so simply this is the client and this is your core engineering so now simply what i have done here i have written here the remark at battery limit 3.5 bar g pressure shall be provided by the client right so now my question for you all how will you ensure that at the battery limit the pressure is 3.5 bar g okay so please let me in the comments box about it right so this is the process piping specification and and after that after this process piping specification you will see this is only about the cooling water after that whatever the service you are using you will write down here okay for example if only you are using the cs as after that also what you will do if you are only using cs so you could simply write here cooling water then let's suppose chilled water slash any other service you could write here you will write here if it falls under the this design temperature and this design pressure otherwise you will have to write in the another row right so i hope you understood about the process piping specification okay and after that the piping team will prepare the pms okay because you will see that about the piping like like how many how much piping you have to purchase or so mainly about the piping like how much piping you have to purchase or buy or you have to place the order it is considered by the piping department and the piping department is the responsible for that so our primary responsibility is that we provide the process piping specification to the piping department and after that it prepares the process material piping material specification that is the detailed document of this process piping specification right so i hope you understood about the process piping specification if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box i will definitely clear your doubt as soon as possible so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you